continuing on with area seven and round three and we actually get a cave that looks like a cave i mean i visually enjoyed this area it, it's uh the gray and the rock patterns so it's not weird greens and blues and purples so anyways uh, moving past that you will get a hidden egg here with a key and if you remember this round is extremely recycled from one of the cave systems earlier where you have to avoid a skateboard back there in an egg get this platform here and ride up so that is exactly the same as it was before and without the key that platform will go down and you will die so nothing to say here springboards and fruit um, it is what it is continuing on the cave really hasn't been hard up to this point but they start to ramp up the difficulty when we get in the sliding platforms and you will see when we get there so just clear these skeletons out um, move forward you have to clear out what you uh, see in front of you before you land or sometimes you will jump right straight into something like that rock there and into a fire pit um, just be careful moving to that spot now you have to ride that platform down and grab that pot and that timing can be very tricky um, I died several times right there now here do not fall for the sliding platforms um, the bats you have to at least clear one of them the birds sometimes you can just jump right over them sometimes I had to shoot them um, in this case I jumped them and then here we go welcome to the pain you have these frogs again and this playthrough once again does not do justice of how difficult it is I had to kill one of those frogs out of the screen and jump just right to clear that frog to even move on and then they punish you with a, a section of moving blocks and bats that fly right at the right level to kill you on those platforms so if you can get past this spot you are home free and you have beat the cave overall a little bit better than two rounds ahead of it